for Lady Eagle Basketball. Just call us if it's a ride you like. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do? Or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trust to care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Welcome back to West Mesa High School in Albuquerque for the Albuquerque Metro Tournament and the marquee game tonight, Hobbs Lady Eagles versus the Lady Mustangs. And they are announcing the starters for West Mesa. Number three, Onyx Williams. Number five, Evelyn Brito. Number 21, Marisa De Hoyos. Number 22, Number 22 Mar Marseille, Marseille Martinez, Marseille, and number 23, Four Monique Senna. Senna. All right, so those are your starters for Hobbs. It's number 14, Brett Clay, 15, Nakaya Mojica, number 20, Bryn Hargrove, number 22, Kendall Cunningham, and number 23, Jaylet David. So those are your starters getting ready to tip it off on the floor. Lady Eagles, as I said, coming in at 13-1 and one on this one. Would like to start this off with a win tonight, and that would put them right back here tomorrow night, 7-15. Same place, same time, just different team. They would probably play, they would play either uh, Cleveland or uh, Albuquerque High tomorrow night. So we'll see what happens as the starters are out on the floor getting ready to tip off things. Cunningham is uh, going, uh, or Rayla Jaylet David is uh, going up against Marseille Martinez and David gets the tip and gets it to Hargrove. We're off and running. Hargrove works it around to the right, outside of the arc, gives it to Nakai Mojica passing into the lane, trying to find Jayla David. It goes out of bounds last touch by the Hobbs Lady Eagles. First turnover for Hobbs. West Mesa inbounds <clears throat> and puts up a shot it's short won't fall and Bryn Hargrove gets the rebound and gets it to Ken, uh, to uh, Brett Clay and she puts in the first two points so two to nothing for Hobbs Lady Eagles in the lead and yes I see that we actually do have uh, they they've got the scoreboard on the other side I can sort of barely see that from the side and they've got all the starters listed so we are barely underway. Seven and a half minutes left in this first quarter. Two to nothing. Lady Eagles are, are leading so far. West Mesa with the ball. They're passing it around the arc on the left. Now driving in the lane is number five, Brito. Oh, and stolen away, Nakaya Mojica. So a turnover for West Mesa. Nakaya, and she takes it down and uh, was put up by Kendall Cunningham, I believe. So four to nothing. Quickly your score. Oh, and a turnover, a steal by Bryn Hargrove, and she gets it to Nakai Mojica. Mojica puts up a shot, won't fall, but Brett Clay there with the rebound, and the putback is good. Four points for her, six to nothing, Lady Eagles. West Mesa with the ball and a bad pass and a turnover again as Kendall Cunningham picks it up, passes it, gets it back, and puts it up and in. She's got four points. 
And a quick timeout. West Mesa wants to know what the name of the bus that hit him. It's eight to nothing really quickly with just a minute and uh, a minute, a little over a minute and a half gone in this first quarter in this uh, game, this first game of the Albuquerque Metro for the Hobbs Lady Eagles. And they're up quickly eight to nothing off of uh, turnovers. They have one turnover of their own, but three turnovers on West Mesa. Hobbs plays aggressive defense and they'll pick your pocket and grab those uh, slow passes. You've got to really pass high, pass crisp and sharp against Hobbs or you're going to end up turning the ball over a lot. So three turnovers for West Mesa so far, one for Hobbs. Eight points on the board, all Lady Eagles. And out of the timeout, it'll be West Mesa ball underneath the Hobbs basket. They'll get it in. Get it to Brito. Still trapped up in the backcourt. Hobbs, very smothering defense. A pass hits the legs of number three, Williams, and goes out of bounds. So turnover number four and give it back to Hobbs. Lady Eagles have it. That is Brett Clay running the point, passing to Mohique on the right corner. Into Jayla David. Kicks it to Cunningham. Cunningham over to Hargrove in the corner to Clay. Clay drives in the lane, puts it up and in. Clay with six points in the game. Makes it 10 to nothing. 6-10 left to play in the first quarter. And a bad pass picked off by Jayla David. Nice steal. Turnover number five for West Mesa. Hobbs passes it into the lane, gets it into Jayla David on a nice feed. And I didn't see who the assist was, but Jayla David has the points. So make it 12 to nothing. West Mesa has yet to get on the board. They're trying right now, driving the lane, a bounce pass across, and then a pass, a feed, and turn around. No room. Great defense by Hobbs, keeping them out of the paint. A shot is up, no good, and Clay with the rebound, her second, brings it down court, passes to Bryn Hargrove in the corner, left side, and she pops a three-pointer. Are they going to give the three? Yep, they do. They give the three-pointer to her. So Hargrove now has a steal and three points in the game. <coughs> Pardon me. West Mesa with the ball, dribbling outside the arc, bounce pass, trying to find room inside the arc. And uh, that was, uh, I believe, 21, De, La De Hoyas, who turned around and picks up. She gets fouled by Cunningham. And that's going to be the first foul on Cunningham and put De Hoyas at the line. A chance for them to get on the board. And they do. So one point. It's now 15 to 1 as De Hoyas puts West Mesa on the board and has another chance at the line as well. As uh, Let's see. Subs coming in for Hobbs. I think um, David, uh, Clay, and Mojica came out. And the second is up and good as well. 15 to 2. Your score. Hobbs with the ball. Oh, and that was uh, number 12, Aliana Armitage, in the game. She ran out of room, ran out of dribble, and uh, goes out of bounds right in front of the scorer's table. So, second turnover for Hobbs. West Mesa, a bad pass into that right corner, goes out of bounds. And that's the sixth turnover for them. One turnover for Hobbs. Hobbs with the ball now. And that's Cepeda in the game. Passes it to Armitage. Armitage drives in. Kicks it over to um, in the corner. There's a shot up no good. That was uh, Kaysla Manise taking the shot. And Kendall Cunningham with the rebound, her second. And she picks up a foul while she's at it. Who fouled her? I believe that's number two. I believe, no, not number two. Uh, 21. They're going to call that on De Hoyos, De Hoyos that is. And Kendall's first shot up and good. Hobbs pretty solid at the free throw line. And Kendall usually among the most solid. 16 to 2 now the score. And follows it up. Nothing but net. So she's 2 for 2 from the line. 17 to 2. Your score, 438 left to play. And West Mesa. Trying to get the ball across midcourt against tight defense. Aliana Armitage all over number 22 Martinez. And they're going to say she got her on 
They're going to call the foul on Armitage, and they're going to call in on Cepeda. Madison Cepeda. It's on the floor. West Mesa inbounds midcourt. They're going to picking the pace up a little bit of their passing, which is a good idea against the Lady Eagles. A shot up from the left corner, no good. Cepeda with a rebound, her first. She gets it to Manise. Manise in the left corner, puts it up. It's short. It banks off, and uh, it's going to be number 24, Carolina Size, with a rebound, her first. So Hobbs still with the ball. They get it to Armitage. Kaysa Manise kicks it to Armitage in the left corner. She puts up a three, won't fall. Fight for the rebound, and they're going to call jump, well, jump ball as the Oyos and Cunningham getting very physical. But the arrow goes the way of West Mesa. So 17 to two, your score, Hobbs in the lead. 3.58 left to play in the first here against West Mesa. They inbound, still in the backcourt. Hobbs, man-to-man -man coverage. Oh, keeping them still in the backcourt. I think the time has run out. I think that, yep, finally, so yeah, their 10 seconds is up. They just could not get it out of the backcourt because Hobbs, even with a, with a, four of the five on the floor are bench players, but, you know, Hobbs is pretty much 1A, 1B in terms of starting five and second and next five up off the bench. Hobbs inbounds. We're going to pass it on the left side. That's Cepeda with the ball. Over to Manise. Manise gets it to size, top of the arc. She tries a three-point shot, won't fall, fight for the rebound. Armitage gets it, puts up a shot, won't fall. And uh, again, a fight for the rebound. Armitage gets it, passes it out. Oh, and then a bad size. Size uh, gives gives the ball over. And that steal, that's the third turnover for Hobbs. Shots up. No good by West Mesa, but Cepeda with a rebound. Her second passes down the court, gets it to Casey Manish. She tries a three-point shot, won't fall, and that's going to be – actually, that was not Manish. That was Size who tried the shot and then passed it to Manish. Manish put, tried to put up a shot, and I think they, they call a foul. And now lots of subs are coming back in for both teams. So you've got your – your starters, uh, they leave Aliana Armitage in. And everybody else is a uh, starter. You got Clay back in. Let's see, Clay Armitage. Mojica taking a shot from the left corner and makes it. That's a three. So Mojica, with her first tray of the game, makes it 20 to 2. After West Mesa brings the ball back down the court. Driving in from the left side. Oh, ball's loose. Fight for it. It was knocked loose by Mojica. Good defense by the Hobbs girls, as always. It knocked, she knocked it loose. Last touch by West Mesa. As she was fighting, Williams and uh, Alicia Charlie were there. So Hobbs has got it. And they give it to Hargrove. Hargrove's going to bring it down. Oh, almost loses it. Some uh, good defense by West Mesa there in the paint. But Hobbs controls it, kicks it out. Armitage, oh, tries to tiptoe through across the lane and gets tripped up. And they're going to call the tripping foul. Let's see, they're going to call that on De Oyas again. That's her second foul. And it's going to be on the floor. Mojica will inbound. Mojica gets it into David. Back to Mojica. Then out to number one. Number who is that? No, out to Clay. Clay takes a shot. And another three pointer. Clay, beautiful. Just outside the arc. 23 to 2 now as Wes Mesa brings the ball down. Underneath their basket, De Hoyos has got it. Fighting. For room, brings it back out, passes it, and gives it off, leaves it off, top of the arc. Oh, and good defense as Clay comes in, steals the ball, takes it coast to coast, puts it up and in from the right side. Nice layup, makes it 25 to 2. 
Still just two points by West Mesa, and they were at the line by De Hoyos. And West Mesa wanting to take a timeout as Hobbs has just been all over West Mesa and in in all manner of um, first the starting five. And after, you know, just a couple, three minutes, Coach Carpenter uh, pulled most of his st starting five, put four bench players in. They still ate West Mesa's lunch. And uh, after a few minutes, he put uh, most of the starters back in. And... It has just continued to be an all Hobbs story here against West Mesa. With the timeout expiring, we just kept it right here. It was just um, a 30. And we're back in action with a minute 27 left in this first quarter here. It's 25 to 2. Your score, Hobbs Lady Eagles beating West Mesa in the night game here, the last game of the night at West Mesa High. West Mesa inbounds the ball under intense pressure by Hobbs. They do throw it down the court. They do manage to pass it off and get it into their number four, Charlie, who pops the net. So now they have four points. Hobbs with the ball, brings it back down the other way. Clay gets it to Mojica. Mojica pops a three from the right wing and makes it 28 to four. That's Mojica's second tray of the game. Under a minute left to play in the first quarter, West Mesa gets it into De Hoyos. De Hoyos brings it down, kicks it out to Williams. Williams, oh, bounce pass, and Armitage steals it. Nice steal. Armitage takes it to the hoop and puts a nice layup in from the right side for her first two points of the game. Makes it 30-4. to four. So just about 30 seconds left. Ah, uh, fast break and a pass down the court. That's the way to beat the Hobbs girls press. And uh, the West Mesa figured that out. And De Hoyos put in uh, a layup. Now she's got four points in the game. And it's 30 to six with 15 seconds left as Hobbs with the ball down under the basket. And there was no foul called. It was just um, a turnover. It goes out of bounds. So, West Mesa's had seven turnovers in the game. Three for Hobbs. They get the ball, bring it down to Oyos. Tries a shot, won't fall. Brett Clay with the rebound. She brings it down, kicks it to Mojica. Mojica to Hargrove. Hargrove tries a three, it won't fall. And the buzzer sounds as the rebound. There was a fight for the rebound. Nobody actually got it cleanly. So after one quarter of play, your score is 30 to 6. Hobbs leading, and we'll be back in 30 seconds with more Lady Eagle basketball here on Eagle 100.5. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. And welcome back to West Mesa High School. It's the Albuquerque Metro Tournament Hobbs basketball, of course. Lady Eagles playing their first game of this tournament. It's a five-day tournament. There will be four games. They play one game each day. And uh, then Thursday is a day off for the teams. I'm assuming they do that so that it gives uh, visitors a chance to uh, to get in and, and uh, go spend some money and in the Albuquerque economy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but that's that's the way it's set up, and, then, and I think that's fine. It's great. Um, it's a, a one-sided affair so far as second quarter begins. It's 30-6. to six. Hobbs is leading. Hobbs inbounding. They got the ball, and they're into the court. A shot is up no good to Oyos with the rebound. It's her second. So West Mesa with the ball. After turning the ball over a lot, too many times in the first quarter, they put up a shot no good, but De Hoyos, or actually Martinez, with the rebound and the putback, and they make it 30-8. to eight. 
As Martinez in the books now. Hobbs with the ball. Size has got it. To Manisa in the right corner. Back to Size. Over to Mojica. Now to Zapeta. Zapeta drives across the lane. Gets it back to Kaysa Manise. Manise tries a three. Won't fall. Oh, the, the rebound by Mojica. No good. And as Cunningham's going up for the rebound, she gets fouled. And uh, they're going to call that under Hoyos. And I think that's three fouls. Yeah, I've got her. That's three. They've, they're putting that up as three. So Cunningham back at the line. Cunningham two for two at the line. And oh, that one rolls out. So looked like it was going to take a dip in, but it sort of scooped out. But Cunningham, a chance to make the second one. She's got six points in the game chance to make it seven and it's up and good yeah that one does rattle in so 31 to 8 your score and I've that score was flipped on the score bug I apologize I've got that fixed now so that is accurate oh and a bounce pass is stolen away Madison Cepeda with a steal takes it down and puts a layup from the up and in for the right side for two points her first two of the game Makes it 33 to 8. All right, finally, West Mesa out of the backcourt. And that's Martinez driving in. She passes it off. There's an air, there's a, a three point shot up, but it's it's way short. An air ball uh, launched by Brito, and it goes out of bounds, but last touch by Hobbs. So it will be Lady Mustang basketball. Here we are, 638 left in the second quarter. The inbound and a three-point shot up, no good. Martinez took it, and that's um, who I believe Cepeda with the rebound. She brings it down, tosses it to Cunningham, and it's a little short, no good. Brought down instead by Brito. Brito leaves it off for 23. Senna, Senna is going to pass it to De Hoyos. De Hoyos tries to put it up and in. It's blocked by Cunningham, and uh, a clean block, no call but the ball stays in Lady Mustang hands. And that is no, number 23, Senna, outside the right arc. She passes it over the left side. Oh, yep, and a collision as they passed it to Martinez at the top of the arc. And right in front of her with Kaysla Manise was guarding her. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, Kaysla just bumped right into her. The girls, really, they were looking up. They were both looking up at the ball and then they collided with each other but it is going to be a foul called uh, number four actually but it was on the floor the ball back in and West Mesa jockeying for position the shot is up no good it's short and Zapata brings it down brings the rebound down and a shot is up from the left corner for Hobbs. No good, but the rebound and the putback. Who did that? Is it Cepeda? It was. Wow, Cepeda on fire. So 35 to 8. Hobbs dominating this one so far against West Mesa. A shot is up, and that was, I believe, number 10, uh, Mello. So 35 to 10 now. Your score, Hobbs coming back the other way. And with the uh, ball, I believe that was Mojica. Mojica back in the game. Put up a, a shot off of an assist by mm, Godwin. And West Mesa trying to find room in the lane. Martinez has it, tries a bounce pass, and it's ill-advised as... She was trying to reach Mello. Mello just on the line underneath the basket, and she wasn't ready for it. Goes out of touch, out of bounds, and another turnover by West Mesa. That's their ninth. So Hobbs in bounds. 4.30 left to play in the second quarter. 37-10 your score. Hobbs leading. And they get the ball over to Manise in the right corner. Uh, or Hargrove rather she pulls the trigger on the three won't fall and uh, the rebound brought down by West Mesa but quickly is stolen away and Clay has the ball and two more points for her so 39 to 10 now West Mesa trapped in the backcourt 
and can't just can't go anywhere. Armitage all over Williams. Um, there was no foul called. Just good, tight defense, and Williams lost the handle on the ball. They're going to say it was last touch. Oh, and a good steal on the inbound as Hobbs has it, and they passed it over to Clay, and Clay puts it up and in. So 41 to 10, your score right now. And West Mesa coming back the other way. Yeah, no foul called, but they did lose the handle on the ball. And making a sub for West Mesa. Number five, Brito coming back in. Hobbs inbounds, gets it to Brett Clay, midcourt. Clay leaves it off for Hargrove. Hargrove passes. And Armitage picks it up and puts it up and in from the left. So Armitage with two more points as well. Makes it 43 to 10. Oh, and a quick steal. Uh, a Cepeda had a nice steal and then put it up and in from the right side. As just, you know, some sloppy handling of the ball by West Mesa and, and Obbs is going to, you know, make you pay for that every time. They've been able to pick the pocket and been able to to uh, force turnovers. Um, certainly West Mesa has made a lot of unforced errors and unforced turnovers, but Hobbs' excellent defense has forced a lot of those. So there's a timeout, and we'll be back in 30 seconds with more Lady Eagle basketball from West Mesa High School on Eagle 100.5. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But the new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed to outlast. With a quiet and comfortable ride, you'll have the confidence you need on the roads, whether they're wet or dry. So goodbye to short-lived and hello to something that lasts. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. Welcome back to West Mesa High School in Albuquerque. It's the Albuquerque Metro Tournament with ga games taking place just all over the different high schools involving so many teams here in, uh, in Albuquerque, Rio Rancho, and, uh, and from around the state visiting teams like Hobbs. Out of the West Mesa timeout, 332 left to play in the second quarter. Hobbs winning 45 to 10. West Mesa inbounding trying to get the ball down in their end of the court and can't do it because Hobbs steals it away yet again. They steal it. They pass it into Jayla David in the lane. She was going to put up a shot, and it ends up getting tied up, and the arrow goes the way of West Mesa. This time West Mesa trying to inbound. They do, but it's stolen away by Hobbs immediately. Pass to Clay, and she puts it up and in and makes it 45 to 10, or 47, rather, and another quick steal and turnaround and jumper. Um, I believe that was Cunningham. I think Armitage stole it. And I think that was Cunningham with the with the shot. Made it 49 to 10. I think I missed riding one of those buckets down in the melee here. So I may be two points off when I start figuring out who, who, who scored what. Inbounding, West Mesa with the ball. They drive into the lane. Martinez has got it, and she puts it up and in. So Martinez beats uh, the Hobbs' defensive pressure. Hobbs with the ball. Other end. Oh, yeah, travel. As uh, that was Manice who got the pass from Armitage and was turning around to pass it over to Clay in the left corner and just slid that foot a little too much so turnover number four for Hobbs but um, ten for West Mesa in this first half. West Mesa with the ball there into the court intense pressure put on by Hobbs. Martinez has it. Drives in top of the arc gives it to De Hoyos. De Hoyos back to Martinez Martinez now drives across the lane, puts up a little floater, it won't fall, and it's David with the rebound, her second. She gives it to Hargrove, Hargrove puts it up and in. Hargrove takes it down the court off of that assist, and she's got five points in the game now, and make it 51-12. to 12. 
a minute 52 left in the second quarter. And uh, let's see, I think they're going to call a foul as uh, De Hoyo. So no, Martinez had the Martinez had the ball, and she was getting worked on by Armitage, and a little too close. But Armitage puts on great defensive pressure, steals the ball a lot. Got a little too close that time. Uh, foul was on the floor. Oh, they're going to call a really ticky-tack foul, I think, on Mojica. And uh, not that she didn't do it. It's just that it was on an inbound and fairly incidental contact. But, again, a quick foul on Mojica. On the floor, West Mesa inbounds midcourt. Get it to Martinez. She drives in and around. Trying to pass the ball. It's stolen away by Kaisla Manise. She passes off to Mojica. <coughs> and Mojica puts it up and in. Kaislin off of an assist by Kaislin and a steal. 53 to 12. <coughs> and out of the rebound. And there is a fight for it underneath the basket as Cunningham is there. Are they going to call the foul? Yeah, I think they're going to call it on Cunningham as she was uh, fighting for the ball, though, against, I think that was Alicia Charlie. Yep, they're going to call that on Cunningham. That's her second foul. And it's going to put Charlie, number four, at the line. She's got two points in the game. It's her first trip to the line, though. And the ball is up and it's short. No good. So a miss for Charlie. She's got another chance at it, though. And let's see, I think that was Williams who comes out, and Brito comes back in for West Mesa. Brito and De Hoyos in the block. And Cunningham and uh, Size there for Hobbs in the block. Second one up is up and good, so 53-13 your score. Hobbs taking the ball down the other way. And they've got um, number 10, Kano, in the game for the first time, I believe. So Kano's in. Uh, the ball is tipped away. And inbound, Mohika to Cunningham. Cunningham takes the pass and puts a quick one up and in. 55-13. And a steal on the inbound. That's Mohika. And she gets the ball back. The ball is passed to her. And rebound. Goats out to Sai. Sai takes it. And then it's passed around, and then she travels. They get it back to Sai, and she was going to work around to the around the right side of the arc, and she again took that little slide step. And that is turnover number five for Hobbs. 55 to 13, under 30 seconds left in the first half here. West Mesa brings the ball down. And they've got it. Charlie working around the outside of the arc. She puts up a floater. It won't fall. Size with the rebound, her third. And Size going to take it down the court herself. Stops, pulls up midcourt. Passes over to Mojica in the right corner. Mojica drives in. Bounce pass to Cunningham in the lane. It won't fall, but she's there to get her own rebound. And the putback is good. And at the buzzer, your halftime score is the Hobbs Lady Eagles. 57 and West Mesa High 13 and we'll be back in just a couple three minutes for your halftime show as I quickly put together some stats here and uh, we'll be back with more of the Lady Eagle basketball from the Albuquerque Metro Tournament here at West Mesa High School on Eagle 100.5. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit OnlineLCSB.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. First America Bank believes success comes from building personal long-lasting relationships that are built on mutual trust. We take a consultative-driven approach to get to know you and your business. We offer a wide array of banking and digital solutions, plus more than a century of local experience. 
So, with First American Bank as your trusted partner, when you succeed, we do too. Find out how we can get it done for you. First American Bank, local know, first I, I, since 1903. I mean, I mean, Member FDIC. Just call us if it's a ride you lack. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do? Or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trust Trusted care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But the new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed to outlast. With a quiet and comfortable ride, you'll have the confidence you need on the roads, whether they're wet or dry. So goodbye to short-lived and hello to something that lasts. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit OnlineLCSB.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. First American Bank believes success comes from building personal long-lasting relationships that are built on mutual trust. We take a consultative-driven approach to get to know you and your business. We offer a wide array of banking and digital solutions, plus more than a century of local experience. So, with First American Bank as your trusted partner, when you succeed, we do too. Find out how we can get it done for you. First American Bank, local know, first I, I, since 1903. I mean, I mean, Member FDIC. Just call us if it's a ride you lack. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. And welcome back to West Mesa High School for Hobbs Lady Eagle Basketball. It's the Albuquerque Metro Tournament. I'm Dawn Morgan here, flying solo and with no video allowed as um, they, uh, the Albuquerque folks let everybody know that uh, they, are, they made other arrangements for a uh, pay service for the video. 
rights, so we could not video, but we are happy to bring you the audio and to show you the score bug on the screen and our, with along with our great sponsors. And you hear those sponsors, and it's nice to be on Eagle 100.5 and on our stream, too, on uh, at One Radio Square and HobbsAmerica.com. So, uh, first things first, halftime score here is 57 to 13. Um, the score at the end of the first quarter was 30 to 6. So Hobbs was able to uh, score 30 in the first quarter, 27 in the second quarter. Um, six points for West Mace in the first quarter. They scored seven in the second quarter. And the players with points for them, Alicia Charlie leading, not not leading the way, um, Martinez, Marseille Martinez with four points and a rebound. And De Hoyos with four points, two from the line. Mello with two points and Alicia Charlie with three points, one from the line. So those are your scorers for West Mesa, for Hobbs. Your leading scorer right now is Brett Clay with 17 points, four rebounds, a steal. You've got Cunningham with 13 points and four rebounds. You have uh, Nakai Mojica with 10 points, two, two, uh, one rebound and two steals. You have Zepeda, Madison Zepeda with six points, four rebounds and a steal. You have Aliana Armitage with four points, two steals. And you've got Bryn Hargrove with five points, one steal, one rebound, one assist. Jayla David with two points, two rebounds, and a steal. Carolina Sice with three rebounds. Kaysla Manis with an assist and a steal. And Katie Godwin with an assist. And I may have missed writing one of those buckets down on the stat sheet. I've, I've got it right there on the score, on the score bug. So I might be shorting one of the girls two points. I'll go back and try to figure that out before the end of the game. But right now, you've got uh, pretty good scoring by, uh, you know, uh, every girl who has played so far and every girl here, I believe, has played. Madison Zepeda, Kyla Cano, Alana Armitage, Brett Clay, Nakai Mojica, Bryn Hargrove, Kendall Cunningham, Jayla David, Carolina Sice, Kaysla Manise, and Katie Godwin are all here and have played and have contributed and are in on the stat sheet in some way, shape, or form, most of them in scoring. So it's uh, always awesome to be able to see that, to be able to see the coach working in a combination of starters with bench players in uh, different combinations, sometimes uh, the, the starting five, and then he'll uh, keep one starter out and bring, if, bring in four off the bench. Sometimes he'll play uh, all bench out on the court, and then he'll go deeper and, uh, and get some of the younger girls some good good time at quality minutes in there as well so they've all played they've all contributed we'll see what happens at halftime as the starters come back on the floor getting ready for the second half of this one here the winner tonight will play tomorrow night at 7:15, right back here at west mesa and the winner is going to play either cleveland or albuquerque high i'll try to look that up before the end of the game but we'll have that posted on uh, hobsamerica.com and on our facebook pages as well tomorrow so you can see uh, again, your score at halftime, Hobbs 57, West Mesa 13. And, yes, we're in running clock, so this second half is going to, going to go by very quickly. As it's underway, West Mesa inbounds at midcourt. They get it in to Brito. Brito passes it off. Then gives it off to Williams from the right corner. She puts up a shot, won't fall. And Brett Clay fights for the rebound. Oh, West Mesa steals it away. So a turnover uh, for Hobbs, West Mesa. And uh, De Hoyos puts it up and in for a quick two points. So West Mesa making some adjustments at half. Hobbs with the ball. Mojica's got it. She drives across the baseline. Moves it off from Manise over to or to Hargrove, rather. All the way to Cunningham. Cunningham tries a shot. It's blocked out and taken away by Wes Mesa. And uh, Senna's got it. They pass into her, but she quickly travels and turns it over. That's turnover number 11. And that may be even more, but that's what I've written down against Wes Mesa so far in the game. So give the ball back over to Haas, Mojica. Gets it to Clay. Clay 
Cunningham in the lane. Cunningham, a give and go to Jayla David right underneath the hoop. She puts it up and in. Count the bucket, and she is fouled. So Jayla David with two more points makes it 59 to 15. And she's going to go to the line as they call the foul on Williams. That's her first. Jayla David, nothing but net. Three the old-fashioned way. And makes it 60 to 15. 621 left in the third quarter. Running clock, of course. West Mesa with the ball. Brito's got it. She gives it up to Williams. Williams bounce fast to De Hoyas in the right corner. She passes it off to Senna. Senna puts up a shot. It won't fall. And Clay. Is it Clay or David? David with the rebound. Nice. David with the rebound, and she drives down to put one up. And I think they're they're going to call her for the charge. Wow. So offensive foul on David. And West Mesa likes that. Not really good. <laughs> not, not real good sportsmanship, but that's okay. Well, we'll take it as a positive sign of positive support for their team. Not so negative against Hobbs, right? West Mesa. Oh, a shot from the right corner as De Hoyos tees it up and pops the net from the from the right corner. Makes it 60 to 18. It looks like West Mesa is determined to get this back under running clock, maybe. As Hobbs is going to take it. The starters are back. Oh, and a bad pass by Mojica is picked off by Martinez. So Martinez takes it down, puts it up, won't fall, fight for the rebound, and it's Clay who comes up with it. She gets it to Hargrove. Hargrove drives into the lane and pulls up, passes it Clay. Clay puts it up a shot, won't fall, but Cunningham with the rebound and the putback is good. 62 to 18. 4.43 left to play in the third. West Mesa with the ball. That is Senna. Senna getting work done by Hargrove. Pulls up and tries a shot. Won't fall. Cunningham picks up the rebound. She brings it down. Gets it to Clay in the right corner. Clay pulls up and pops the net. And that's a three-pointer for Clay. 65-18. Let's see. Clay, is that her first three-pointer of the game? No, second. She had a tray in the first half as well. So West Mesa with the ball. Outside the arc on the left side. That's Senna leaving off for De Hoyos. De Hoyos pulls up from the left wing, tries a three-point shot, won't fall. Mojica gets the rebound and passes it off to Clay, and Clay takes it up and in off of a nice assist by Mojica. And two more points for Brett, 67-18. Good work. As West Mesa's got the ball, that's De Hoyos, top of the arc, leaves it off for number 23 Senna and she stops and pops the net as well and uh, that's where they say she's on the line Can't I think it was just two points nope they're going to say three Hobbs with the ball it ends up getting picked off and then the teams trade turnovers again going the other way Hargrove with the ball loses the handle on it She's getting worked on hard by De Hoyos. Are they going to call a foul, or are they just going to say it went out of bounds? I think just out of bounds. It will stay. It should stay Lady Eagle basketball, though. 67-21 is your score. I was making sure. They took a while to put that uh, three-pointer up. I think they were also, like me, wondering if that was right on the line. Was it a two-pointer or a three-pointer? They call it a three. I will not argue. Now, Hobbs... Loses the ball. West Mesa's got it. A shot up. An air ball no good. And that is Caitlin Manise who comes up with it. She pulls up and a pop tries to uh, shoot a three. And it's an air ball goes out of bounds. <coughs> Just a little trouble probably. Just pulled up and uh, didn't have the range right. Pulled up and uh, so sometimes sight lines are a little different. So give the ball over. Goes out of bounds. West Mesa with the ball coming back the other way. That is Williams working it around the left side of the arc. Now gets the ball back, drives in the lane, and puts up a shot. It hits the backboard and bounces off hard, but she gets fouled as she's doing it. 
And they're going to call that. Was it on? And it's going to be on Kano, Kylie Kano. So her first foul. 67-21 is still your score, by the way. Third quarter. And first shot by Williams up no good. So a miss for her. Keeps the score at 67-21. And she'll have another shot at it. Second one is up, and that one is good. So that makes it 67-22. Hobbs with the ball. That's the Peta in the game. She brings the ball down and passes it off to Manice in the left corner. She puts up a, a three-point attempt. It won't fall. And number 23, Senna with the rebound. Brings it down. Passes it off to, I believe, number four, Alicia Charlie from the left wing, and she pops a tray. 67-25 now. Kaysa Manise with the ball in the corner. Passes it all the way over to Kondo in the right corner, and she puts up a three and pops the net. Makes it 70 to 25. 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Running clock goes by very quickly. Hobbs more than 35 points up means the clock stays running. Ooh, an air ball three-point attempt from the left wing by West Mesa is picked up by Hobbs. Zapata's got it coming the other way. Brings it all the way down. Leaves it off for um, Manise. No, number 30. Oh, Manise. Can't tell. That is number 30. I'm not sure. I think that's a... I don't know who's wearing that jersey. I'm sorry. I think a girl from the JV. I don't have her on the roster. Fight for the ball. Hobbs gives it up. West Mesa before they can bring it down and take a shot. So the clock runs out on the third quarter. And it ends 70 to 25. That's your third quarter score. We'll be back with the fourth and final one of this game here at West Mesa High School in Albuquerque. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do? Or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trust care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company. Leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. And welcome back to West Mesa High School here. It is the fourth final quarter of this game. Hobbs, Lady Eagles. Ball inbounded. Hobbs takes it down. A shot up from the right corner won't fall. And West Mesa with the rebound. That is Asena with the ball. Drives around outside of the arc. Getting worked on hard by Cepeda. A shot is up. A little right hook. And uh, nice work actually by Senna for that. Two points. So 70 to 27 now. Clock is running, of course. Hobbs brings it down. Zapata passes to Armitage in the right corner. Armitage takes the ball and probably travels. Hobbs having a little bit of trouble with, um, they've been called for traveling. That's their seventh turnover of the game. And we are in the fourth and final quarter as it is 70 to 27 now. Seven minutes left in this game. It's been all Hobbs. They've dominated. But um, to their credit, West Mesa made some adjustments at halftime and came out, and they've been moving the ball better, having some uh, better luck with their transitions. And shooting, uh, their shooting has picked up, although Hobbs has backed off a, a little bit. They, the um, defensive pressure on West Mesa hasn't been quite as, as tight during... Uh, 
the third quarter. West Mason with the ball, looking for room. Are they going to call Kaysla Manise on that? As it was Senna with the ball, working it around. And uh, West Mesa just doing a real clumsy job, a lot of real sloppy, clumsy uh, passing and work. But uh, there was a, a stumble, and I think they they called. Did they call that against Jayla David? I think that foul kind of just got a feet tri tripped up. And they did. They called it, but it was on the floor. <clears throat> so 5.50 left to play. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hobbs. It'll be inbounded in front of the vent in about midcourt as West Mesa works it around and they give it to Charlie and she drives underneath the basket, drives into the lane, puts up a little floater from the right hand side, makes it 70 to 29. Hobbs coming back the other way. They give it to Kaysla Manise, and she tries a three-pointer from the left corner. No luck as Wes Mesa, that's De Hoyos with the rebound. And she gives it off to Martinez. Martinez drives in, puts up a shot, but gets fouled, and she'll go to the line. And let's see, they're going to call that on, is it going to be on David or Armitage? So I think Armitage was, was tight on her. We'll see who they call that on. Oh, it's n neither one of them going to be on size. So that's her first foul. And Martinez at the line, her first trip to the line, puts it up and in. And that's her first. Uh, she had four points in the first half. And second one up and good as well. 70 to 31 now. Hobbs coming back the other way. Armitage gives it off to Manise. Manise to size. Size. Top of the arc, gets it to Manise on the right wing, then into Cepeda, the right corner. Pretty good defense there by Wes Mesa. They leave it off, Armitage dribbles over, gives it to Cepeda, and now to Kaysla Manise in the right corner. She puts up a shot, won't fall, but Jayla David right there with the rebound and the putback is good. So David with two more points of the game, 72-31, four minutes left in this game. Coming the other way, we've got Brito drives the lane, and Hobbs was there, but the feet weren't set. And it's going to be, I think, Jayla David picking up another foul. We'll see. It may not be against her. That's just who, uh, when I looked up and saw. So now it's 33, not 23. Case Lemonese gets called. When I saw the referee's hands, I saw a three. So Case Lemonese. And a timeout is taken. We're going to see. They haven't indicated whether it's a 30 or a 60. It is a full 60. So we'll take a timeout and be back in 30 seconds with more Lady Eagle basketball on Eagle 100.5. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. And welcome back to Hobbs Lady Eagle Basketball from West Mesa High School in Albuquerque. It is the Albuquerque Metro Tournament. I'm Dawn Workin, and this game has just been a, a dominating performance by the Hobbs girls and who have been having a little trouble, um, you know, <laughs> uh, it's it's difficult sometimes against teams that, that are not playing against you really hard in, in some ways. And uh, so Hobbs is has looked as sharp as they can under the circumstances and they definitely had a good score fest and that uh, score remains 72-33 out of the free throws. The free throw was missed and Hobbs with the ball brings it down the other way. A shot up no good but Hobbs with the rebound and the put back no good but uh, on the way Armitage put it up and gets fouled so they're going to call that on number five, Brito. Armitage at the line. Beautiful. Nothing but net. As Aliana adds another point. It's 73-33. And 
She's got another chance. She's got five points in, in the game. Five, uh, yeah, five. And that's a miss. But Hobbs uh, Manise with the rebound. Oh, and what happened as Jayla David was coming through and gets knocked. She was, uh, Caselyn Manise took the ball and turned around and, and passed it to Jayla David. And I didn't see if a player hit her, if she kind of got clotheslined, or whether the ball was a pretty sharp pass. I don't know if the ball hit her uh, or, or another player uh, did, but she went down hard. I think she got, got her, I think, in the face. And I don't know whether it was the ball or, or a player. But she went down hard. And it is David, I believe, and not Clay. Uh, that may be in question too, but I, th I think it's David. Uh, we'll see. And she stayed down, and uh, they're with her on the court. She's on her stomach, and uh, they're just having her flex her knees and kind of figure out before she moves too much where the problem is. Her, uh, now she's sitting up, and they're going to help her up and help her stand. The refs are, are figuring, uh, I think, talking about, yes, it is Jayla David, and boy, that was a, boy, that was a hard shot and a hard fall. And she's up with some help, not limping. So we hope that uh, that it's just bruises and uh, nothing too serious. Nothing serious at all. So certainly great athlete, multi-sport athlete, and a standout here on the basketball court. I saw her number of the Lady Eagles. So let's hope Jayla's on the bench and hopefully recovering. So... Basketball moves on. They inbound to get it to size. Size puts up a shot. It's blocked away and taken away by West Mesa. Doing a nice job. And they get it to Martinez. Martinez picks up the ball at the top of the arc and starts moving with it. And yep, then turns it over. So give it to Hobbs. They inbound from midcourt. That is Cepeda. Leaving it off for Cano. Back to Cepeda. Back. As she moves out midcourt over to the left to Size. Size passes. Top of the arc to Godwin. Back to Size. Now in the corner to Cepeda. She drives across the baseline. Kicks it out to Cano. Cano drives back across the baseline. Kicks it over to number 30. Well, I don't have her on the roster. I believe she played in the JV game, maybe, or, or maybe she's from the JV team. I'm not sure, but I don't have a number 30, so I apologize. And Hobbs just passing around the arc. Now they get it in. Number 30 takes a shot. It won't fall. Fight for the rebound. Go uh, Godwin has it. Fight for the rebound. It won't fall. She's got it again. So it took two quick rebounds and a putback, and, and now she's in the books with her first two points of the game. 75-33 now, a minute 14 left. See, when clock is running and it doesn't stock, it, it just eats, eats it away, eats the time so fast. Just a minute 14 left to play in this game. It's, it has been, it's been Hobbs all the way, no matter who's been on the, on the floor. And right now it's all bench and deep bench, and Hobbs holding their own, doing just fine. 75-33, West Mesa with the ball. As they put up a shot, fight for the rebound. Loose ball on the court. Finally picked up by Hobbs. And that is number 10, Kano. Kano's got it. She gets it over to size. Size puts up a three-pointer from the right wing. Won't fall. Fight for the rebound. Godwin had it, but then it went over to Cepeda. Cepeda kicks it out to Kano. Kano over to size. Size works it around right side. Leaves it off for Cepeda, or to number 30 again. And a whistle sounds. They're going to call a foul, I believe, on their number 30. Is it going to be on Varela? Or no, it's going to be on Brito. It is on Brito. So it's on the floor. Give it over to Hobbs. 
Hogs inbounds, gets it to Cepeda. Cepeda to size. Size back to Cepeda midcourt. As six, five, four, three, two, one. Hobbs just gonna hold it. And that's it. Just hold it till the end. And the score, they finish 75 to 33 with Hobbs just running the last several seconds off the clock, not taking any shots, and just ending the game. 75 33 is your final here, and that means Hobbs will be right back here tomorrow night at 7.15 to play at West Mesa High, and uh, they will play either uh, Cleveland or Albuquerque High, and I think it was Cleveland who won that game right before this one, but we'll double-check. I'm not sure if the if Coach will come up or not. I hope he does, but let's take a break, and I'll uh, work on stats and we'll come back and wrap this one up pretty quickly. They're going to scoot us out of the gym pretty fast, I think, because it's the last game of the night. So we'll be back with the wrap right here. Hobbs and Lady Eagle Basketball, a victory at West Mesa High on Eagle 100.5 and HobbsAmerica.com. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But... The new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed to outlast. With a quiet and comfortable ride, you'll have the confidence you need on the roads, whether they're wet or dry. So goodbye to short-lived and hello to something that lasts. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit onlinelcsb.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. First America Bank believes success comes from building personal long-lasting relationships that are built on mutual trust. We take a consultative driven approach to get to know you and your business. We offer a wide array of banking and digital solutions plus more than a century of local experience. So with First America Bank as your trusted partner, when you succeed, we do too. Find out how we can get it done for you. First American Bank, local first I, I, since 1903. I, Member FDIC. Just call us if it's a ride you lack. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do, or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trusted care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. And welcome back to West Mesa High School for the first game of, of this tournament for the Hobbs Lady Eagles. And it was uh, an easy win. I say easy because Hobbs girls always work hard and they have to work for their wins, whether the team makes it uh, easy easier for them or not. And tonight it uh, was domination time. Hobbs uh, ahead at the end of the first, 30 to 6. At the end of the halftime, or at halftime, 57 13. At the end of the third, 70 to 25. And at the uh, at the buzzer, at the end of the game, 75 to 33. And it was running clock for uh, the entire second half. So very quickly, um, the 
second half went by very fast. In the scoring for your West Mesa girls, the leading scorer was at the Hoyos with nine points, five rebounds. Martinez had six points. Uh, uh, Alisa Charlie had eight points, so one of them a tray. And uh, Senna had two points, and Williams had one point. And uh, Martinez with the six, as I mentioned. So there were too many turnovers for West Mesa High. I mean, there were 12 in the first half alone, and I just quit counting in that second half. Hobbs had a number of turnovers uh, for of their own as well. I've got them down for eight in, in the game total, um, but uh, West Mesa certainly had to far, far more. They did shut things down a little bit, played uh, a little bit better starting in that second half. However, not uh, they played better, but they were already in running clock and could never get that back out of running clock, so made it uh, a difficult mountain for them to climb. But they were able to put, you know, more points on the board. I mean, they only had 13 points at the half. They managed to put 20 on in the second half of this basketball game. For Hobbs, uh, I've got the leading scorer as Brett Clay with 22 points, five rebounds, an assist, and a steal. I've got uh, Kendall Cunningham with 15 points and six rebounds. I've got, um, let's see. Uh, Mojica with 10 points, a couple of rebounds, and a couple of steals as well. Jayla David with 7 points, 5 rebounds, a steal. Uh, I've got Armitage down with 5 points and a couple of steals. Uh, I've got Hargrove with 5 points, a steal, uh, and a rebound. Also, uh, uh, Godwin with 2 points, 3 rebounds, and an assist. I've got Kylie Kana with 3 points. She popped a tray and a rebound. And uh, let's see, uh, I think that was it. And size with three rebounds, and Manise with an assist and a steal and a, re a rebound as well. So that was the scoring and uh, the stats as, as I was able to keep up with it here in this first game. A good win for the Hobbs girls and uh, not able to video this, of course. We will not have any of these games from the Albu Albuquerque Metro game, uh, Metro tournament uh, able to bring you video, but we will have the audio. It will be on Eagle 100.5 and on our streams and on HobbsAmerica.com. You'll be able to see the, uh, the video screen on on the um, uh, YouTube page and on HobbsAmerica.com, but you won't be able to see the game. The score bug will be there and our banner showing uh, the different sponsors uh, wh whom we acknowledge and thank as well. So it's time to get wrapped up here. They're going to turn out the lights on me, so uh, Coach was not able to come up. I, I know that um, he, uh, he was grabbed right away uh, for a video and uh, nothing we can do about that. But hopefully I'll manage to connect with him, and hopefully after tomorrow night's game he can come up and, uh, and say a couple of quick words after the game for us. I know that um, he's happy with any win, and uh, this is a good one for the Hobbs girls. They go up 14 to 1, 14 and 1 on the season now with this victory, 75 to 33. Final score again against West Mesa High School, the Lady Mustangs here at West Mesa. And we'll be right back here. We will have the game tomorrow night. Keep in mind there are lots of games in front of it. The game could start on time like it did tonight where it could be pushed back, but we will have that for you. The starting time is scheduled for 7.15 tomorrow night right here at West Mesa High. So we'll have that game. In the meantime, thank you very much to Tiff Stuber and Alina for uh, Alina Muro for producing and engineering tonight. Nice job, both uh, girls. And we be sure and watch our Facebook pages and HobbsAmerica.com for a post and information about the games from this tournament. Hobbs boys are up here as well, and we've got those for you on the air on our sister station, Cool 95.7, and uh, no video for that for those games as well. But uh, other teams in Lee County also are playing this week, and just be sure and uh, check. And so you can click the links to follow your favorite teams and games. I'm Don Morgan signing off and saying thank you, and congratulations to the Hobbs Lady Eagles again. Their win, 75-33 over West Mesa High tonight. And until tomorrow night, that's all. And we'll be back here for that on Eagle 100.5 and HobbsAmerica.com. Good night. Thank you for listening to and watching the Hobbs Lady Eagles from Eagle 100.5.
Today's game was brought to you by the First American Bank of Hobbs, Hobbs Express, The Coffee House, Devon Energy, Hobbs Rental, Hydrotech Services, and SunGuard. Hobbs Lady Eagle Basketball also proudly presented by The Model, Robinson & Associates Real Estate, Lasco Construction, Forest Tire Company, Eunice Pump & Supply, NMR Pipeline, Thriftway & Lottie & Grocery Stores, and the Lee County State Bank. Hobbs Lady Eagle Basketball on Eagle 100.9.